Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, welcome in. Uh, have you ever been uh, given an offer you can't refuse, kind of like the Mafia, Godfather style? Yeah, I was, um, and because of it, um, Devour of the Day, worse than death, here's my reaction. Are you ready? I mean, you're not, but I'm going to press play anyway. In the YouTube reaction system, certain videos must be reacted to by highly trained specialists. Unfortunately, we only have this idiot. Yeah, so it's been a crazy three years on YouTube, right? So I get to meet all these crazy, amazing musicians from all over the world. And every once in a while, somebody like literally messages me out of nowhere and goes, hey, how you doing? Love your reactions. Um, appreciate how you really pay attention to the stories the bands are telling. And you don't just jump around and guffaw and clap and goof off. You actually care about the story. And I was like, oh, thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, this person goes, you don't know who I am, do you? I was like, no, nope, really don't. But then again, I'm pretty stupid. I mean, you know, are you one of Milli Vanilli? And he's like, no, I am not. My name is Joey. I was like, hey, Joey, are you like Joey from NSYNC? He's like, no, nope. my name is Joey Walser. And I was like, oh, okay. And he was messaging me on Instagram. And then I clicked on his profile and I was like, wait, aren't you like in Pop Evil? And he's like, yeah. Aren't you in like Devour the Day? And he's like, yeah, that's me. I was like, cool. Awesome. Thanks for the, uh, for the props. He's like, hey, I like what you're doing. I said, look, I appreciate what you did. If you ever, on your next video, any band that you're working with, any project you have going on, you let me know and I'll do the reaction. He called my bluff. This is Devour the Day, worse than death. <laughs> Joey's like, remember, gave me the link and I went, <laughs> You're right. So here we go. Hey, a promise is a promise. Keep your promises. It's important, people. Here we go. Worse than death, devour the day. Uh, I think Joey's playing bass on this one. Maybe. I don't know. Just, just guess. Shot in the dark. Here we go. That, that, that's a different, that's something I've never seen before. I've never seen anybody uh, sing uh, the second verse of a song while being drugged inertly by a group of armed uh, people in tack gear. Um, the whole uh, violence situation, uh, him with the pistol, them with uh, tack uh, coming in, uh, the altercation, don't know anything about that. I know it's kind of a sore subject right now. It's kind of an edgy thing to do. Um, so I'm going to not, uh, focus on that so much as I am about the way the story is being told musically. Is that okay? Cool. I'm trying to keep everybody, uh, chilling right now. Uh, this is a crazy time to be alive. Um, so, uh, okay. Do like that, um, that synthesized part of the beginning, that diffuse situation led to a very, uh, aggressive downbeat. I do like the intro. I do like the drum staying out at the beginning of the uh, verse and then coming in in the second round to add a little bit of extra weight on the down. So whenever they kick off into the uh, chorus, it's very aggressive. Um, I like everything so far. I do like the intimate vocal there where it's very personal, talking to you with just his regular voice. And then you just blast off with a belt, the chorus. Very good stuff. Um, I do enjoy a song that you don't have to know all the lyrics. You do not have to pay attention to the video to feel that it's well told as a story. So you have to have all three for it to work for me. You gotta have the video, obviously, obviously uh, 
for lack of better term, they're taking no prisoners here. Sorry, bad choice of words. Um, vo oh, the, the lyrics are there too, very poignant. But musically, it tells a story too. So I like that as well. All right, so we're, we're getting to the second verse. Let's back it up a little bit. Sorry to stop it, but when, when bands come together, I do like to at least on the first couple reactions for a band, I like to get into how they're approaching their music. And sharing that with you, what I'm seeing, what I'm noticing, and what I like or dislike about it. And so far, everything right here, very tight. Like it. Let's keep going. I can't believe I'm muted Under the weight of shame for everything I've done. I know we're both alone again. A thousand miles away. We're going to get super. All right, we're about to, I mean, we're only, it only has another uh, 20 seconds to go. So let me break it down a couple things I noticed. Uh, on the video portion um, of the three people that had him immobile, dragging him through the room, someone dropped him a sidearm uh, and the other two saw it, killed that person, he was able to get away. Um, what was really interesting was um, in typical movie style fashion, he left something that allowed them to find him, bloody handprint. And I've seen a lot of videos where bands will have weapons fire, explosions, everything else. But in the video, you don't hear it. You just see it and you let the song be the soundtrack of what you're seeing. In this case, they actually put the sound uh, of the uh, carbines uh, firing. Um, and um, sometimes you'll see bands, they'll, they'll do like weapon fire where every round is to the beat of the song. This one, not important. They just went after it. Um, interesting thought process. Also, now that we talked about it, let's get to what the band's doing. I do like the energy of the band. When a band puts a lot of passion, power, and aggressiveness in the way that they, they project their stuff, you don't have to be elaborate. I mean, yeah, you could be progressive, you can be layered, you can be as, a, as musicianship leveled as you want to be, but sometimes you just want something that just hits hard. Something that is dynamic in the way it's presented. This one does a really good job of that. Um, I like everything they're doing, and I'm very thankful, super thankful that nobody did a guitar whip or a bass whip. Thank you, guys. Uh, spinning around yourself, doing drops, that's great. But if you do a bass or guitar whip, remember that's very, very pop punk. And if you do it, it should be done only once. And that's for the segue into the reprisal chorus or breakdown. That's the rules. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you that's the rules. There are rules. I bet you didn't know that. It's definitely rules all the time. Here we go. Okay, let's keep going. Let's finish it out. There's uh, 20 seconds left, and I think they're going to lay it down. Let's go. I 
I I really like that. Let's 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 talk about let's talk about this more. Um there's an energy here that I like. Um is there a breakdown in this? No. And since everybody does breakdowns now, it's it's kind of like um how do we say it? It's kind of like LED light bars, right? Or doing a video in an old warehouse that is for some reason wet for for no reason. Uh, that's all been done. They're not doing it here, uh, so I appreciate it. I mean, it's okay if you do, but um, it's a it's a unique type of video, and they're doing it their style. It looks to be like an old warehouse, wooden warehouse, wooden barn style kind of situation. Um, but uh, uh, the floors are not wet. Good job, guys. No no LED light bars. Good call. Also, no breakdown, okay? You don't have to do a breakdown in, ev damn it, are those LED light bars? Shit. Yeah, damn it. I had hope for you guys, but there you are, LED light bars. Anyway, no, no, <laughs> anyway, no, but no breakdown. Um, no blah, I mean, the bands that do it, the bands that need to do it, if you need to do one, every single time then that's your pigeonhole be careful you don't want to pigeonhole yourself as a band this band does not need any of those things they've got everything right in the pocket and i enjoy the snot out of it all right everybody devour the day worse than death um the only thing worse than death to me is um a see see pivot spin while holding your instrument is fine Whipping it for no reason whatsoever, that's worse than death. That's my opinion, but then nobody cares what I think, and that's the way it should always be. Thank you, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.